I'm Steve Kuklo, and this is Grilling with Bodybuilders. Grilling is one of the easiest um, methods of cooking when it comes to food prep. I think, you know, you get a big grill, you throw a bunch of meat on it, vegetables, whatever you want to make, and, and boom, you get it done. So I'm going to give you some tips, tricks, different uh, methods and, and styles that you can use on the grill. We're starting with sweet potatoes. I have boil in a bag rice, and that's pretty much it for carb sources. Vegetables, I love asparagus. Just using some uh, boiling water, going to boil them, steam them, and as far as same with the rice and the potatoes. For protein sources, we have sirloin steak, cod, salmon, and chicken breast. Steak's one of those foods I really like to cook um, fresh. I, I'm not a big fan of reheating steak. I think it kind of turns to jerky or like super uh, rubbery leather tasting, and I'm not a huge fan of it. So sometimes if I throw it on the grill and I'm going to use it later, I go like medium rare with it. That way when I reheat it, um, you know, the, the meat kind of just cooks a little bit more and then it's still in a tender zone where it's not crazy, uh, crazy overcooked and then it just tastes like crap. So, you know, seasonings, I'm super simple with my seasonings. I usually go sea salt and then just a basic black pepper. And as far as, you know, every item we have here is going to be on the grill today. You know, there is other ways of cooking a lot of this. You can use the frying pan, you can bake your fish and chicken. But today we are grilling. So uh, let's get some stuff rolling here. So I got these asparagus and what I like to do is literally cut off the ends because the ends really aren't edible. So this water is about ready. Get these in there. These are going to boil five, six minutes. I'll get a timer rolling for that. And then I'm also gonna cut up these sweet potatoes into small cubes. And reason being, it's just gonna cook a lot quicker. And then you kind of have uh, just nice little tender, tender cubes to work with. So I'm gonna show you just what I'm talking about here. So I'm gonna get these in. So I take my chicken breast, usually again, chicken comes pretty thick from the store. What I like to do is I'll cut it in half if it's super thick, but the key to chicken breast, just because it's such a lean uh, meat, is you gotta use a meat tenderizer. So what I like to do with my chicken, I literally just go ahead and spray it with some olive oil spray, just so it doesn't stick to the grill. Again, it's a very lean meat. And then I have salt and pepper. We're gonna just pre-season it. salt and pepper. Next we have our sirloin steak. So I do the same kind of thing. I spray all the meats with the cooking spray. We're just going to season everything up here. Salt and pepper on the steak. Now with my fish, my fish is a little different. Um, I like to just add one other thing. So I have my cod, it's for my white fish and then salmon. I like to use lemon. It cuts some of the fish taste from it, and uh, I'm a big fan of lemon in general, so it kind of works out. We're gonna salt and pepper these, and we're ready for the grill, if you ask me. I'm, I know I'm getting hungry, it's about lunchtime. With me, I like to usually just time my food, because I know, hey, if my grill's hot, my chicken takes three to four minutes aside, especially being thinner. Steak, five to six minutes, so uh, fish, it would just kind of see how that's looking. So we're gonna get everything on and. I like to keep everything closed for the most part, or you have a tendency to kind of lose a lot of heat when that grill uh, cover comes up. So keep it closed and throw your phone timer on. That way you know, um, you know when you gotta open it again. Because if you're opening it and closing it, opening and closing it, lose a lot of heat and your food's gonna take a lot longer to cook. All right, our timer went off for the chicken for side one. Now side two is cranking. Let's see what do we got. 30 seconds left on the chicken. That's gonna be first to come off and then the fish will be right behind that followed by the steak. 
Yeah, we're, we're way done. 168, perfect. Chicken's done, we got a little bit left on the fish in the steak, so we're gonna go ahead and set another timer for about two more minutes, see where we're at. We got steak, cod, salmon, and chicken all looking good. So we're gonna take this in. Check on the uh, potatoes, the rice. Got that on the uh, boiling right now and it should be about done as well. So I'm gonna head back in. I eat about two meals a day, sweet potatoes. So like meal two and four. The other meals are rice. Cream of rice or oatmeal for breakfast. And then the other two meals I do uh, just regular white rice. Those are ready to go. Just some steamed asparagus. Got my steamed white rice, uh, steak ready, cod, salmon, and chicken. What I like to do after I pull the chick or the uh, the salmon and the cod off the grill is I'll squeeze some more lemon on there. That's just on the fish. I'll even throw a little bit more salt because that meat is just ready to absorb some of that flavor. And I'll do it on the steak and the chicken. And that is Grilling with Bodybuilders. Thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to subscribe below and turn on those post notifications.